So, um, first thing we're going to do, we're going to learn how to draw in isometric, right? Just draw in basic cube, cuboid, and a cuboid and a cuboid, all at different dimensions, okay? So, to start off, we're going to use an isometric grid, which you can get off the internet and print. This has been laminated, so I can use it all the time, but you don't have to laminate yours. Uh, the paper I'm using is a layout paper because it's slightly thinner than normal but thicker than tracing paper so that I can clearly see my grid underneath it. Right, so into each one of these squares, I'll show you on here, from there to there, that is one centimetre. Going down, one centimetre, one centimetre, one centimetre one centimetre so between each dot there is one centimetre okay so the first step is is you're just going to if we was to draw this cuboid we're going to mark out this point just to start us off okay so I'm going to put a, a dot there right see how where I've started so I'm making sure that I can fit it all on the page Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to count, going across here, how many dots it is. So, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to go across, one, two, three, four. So that angle I've gone up there, that is a 30 degree angle. So all your lines, when drawing an isometric, should either be vertical or at a 30 degree angle there should never ever be any horizontal lines if you have horizontal lines that means you've gone wrong somewhere okay and then I'm going to count again going this way from my center point one two three four it's so four again one two three four and then going down one two three four okay one two three four so there we go, the first thing I've done is I've now created that Y shape and I'm going to draw it in using a ruler making sure that I am staying on my grid. And then next one. Okay, so I've made my Y. The next part is to make this hexagon shape all the way around so I'm going to start from this corner here okay counting up again one two three four one two three four so from this you can see that obviously it's going to be a four by four by four cube okay but it's really important that you are counting out each time because when you get to a more uneven shape so like a cuboid where it has a one longer edge to the other you need to make sure you're consistently counting the entire time so now i'm going to make this consistent uh, this hexagon shape going around counting four for each point so from this one i'm going down one two three four and then from this one i'm going down one two three four and i can now draw in my lines okay and then that's my cube Okay, if you can draw a cube, you can basically draw anything. A cube is used for what we call as creating, so we will add different cubes together to create a more complex shape, which we will get on to later on. So then I'm going to do another shape. So I'm going to do a cuboid in this video, and then I'm going to show you on a, the next one how to fine line up and then add tonal shading. Okay, so we're going to start again, exactly the same steps, middle point, so this one here, I'm going to place it around the middle of my page so I know it's definitely going to fit on uh, that there, 
Okay, so I'm going to count from there up. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm creating my Y shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, and then I'm going to go down. One, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to draw this in. So that's my Y shape. So I now know that all the lines going in that direction are going to be seven, and all the lines going in that direction are four, and my vertical lines are also four. So I can start drawing them and counting from the points. So I'm going to draw my vertical lines first on fours one, two, three, four, draw a dot. One, two, three, four, four, draw a dot, and down, okay, so that's my vertical lines. I am going to then draw my uh, 30 degree angle lines that are a seven, so going off towards my right. So, one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, so I know that point is definitely correct. Again from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Point. There we go. And then my last ones, which is my 30 degree angle lines going off towards my left. Okay. And these should be as easy as just drawing in them two points up. But you can count them if you want to just double check that you haven't accidentally maybe drawn your line not quite straight. So there's one, two, three, four there. So I'm going point to point, join it up, and then point to point, join it up, there we go. I've got a little bit of an overhang there, so I'm just going to get a rubber for, and rub it out, okay? But that is cube and cuboid, okay? Thank you.